Good evening. I promised a little explanation on how you go about getting Generation 2 battery cells into a Generation 1 battery box for your Nissan LEAF. So, I've got the battery out again. I might explain in another video why, but let me show you what we did. The key thing with this job is that you need to maintain your battery management computer. This little guy is coded to talk to the two, apparently, computers in the Nissan LEAF. And without Nissan's help, you can't reprogram either the car or the battery management computer to talk to each other. And so if you don't keep the same battery managing, management computer, the car will not work. It'll think it'll let you run at 25 miles an hour or something, but it won't do any more than that. So that battery management computer is gold. Don't destroy it. And so unplug it. First thing you do, unplug it. So you take that off, and then you also need to get the batteries out. Obviously, you need to get the batteries out of your Generation 1 case. Um, you need to take the buzz bars, the connections from your Generation 1 batteries, and put them on your Generation 2 batteries. So you don't need to take the structure apart. You don't need to actually separate the cells. But you do need to take these Generation 2 buzz bars off and put the generation one buzz bars back on because they changed the wiring so here on the generation two that's where the connector to go across the pack the equivalent of this is on the generation one it's up top this means that all of the sensing leads that go into the battery management computer are different and so if you do like we did just assume that you can put your generation one computer onto your generation two loom that guy gets cooked and then you learn all about how to reprogram computers. Won't go into that right now. So you need to do that. Change your looms, change your buzz bars. You also need to change this. This is a structural support for the main battery cell bank along the back of the battery box. And the generation two one crashes directly into the connections on the generation one buzz bars and so that's a big short out so take this off saw it down carefully file it put it back on that's all good you also need to keep your temperature sensors from the generation one it's real simple so all of this is real simple stuff basically you want the wiring from the generation one cells from the generation two computer from the car that you're working on it's all good hope that's um, enough detail but not too long as usual let me know if you've got any questions i'll try hard to answer them thank you very much